the key issue isn't the, vol the amount overall, but it's concentration. Mm -hmm. And so if there was going to be an impact of, of fake news on voters, we thought we'd find it in Pennsylvania, Florida, Michigan. We took a close look at Michigan, and we found a one-to-one -one ratio. For every link to content produced by a professional journalist, there was at least one link to junk. And junk, we, it turned out to be very hard to operationalize fake news uh, as, a, as a concept, so we, met, we put together stuff that was sensationalist, extremist, uh -huh. commentary, masking as news, um, quite a range of things. And, and so that's how we got the one-to-one -one ratio. If you add in the amount of links to unverified WikiLeaks content and to Russia Today or Sputnik content, it's almost half of what Michigan voters were sharing was stuff not produced by professional journalists.